Okay, so um, so each month in the um, no, not each month. Each day, each day in the month of November, a different black status presenter was going to do, or not was, they are. They are doing a different training. Hi, girls. Um, they're doing a training on, you know, their business and unique. So um, it's the 27th, right? And hello, and uh, it's my day. Uh, you guys, I thought like I'd get to prepare. This is the first time I've ever gone live on... Um, my Facebook wall and I honestly want to puke okay but um I thought I'd prepare this like all month no I didn't I didn't okay but I kind of prepared today so this is it's not just a training for unique though because I feel like this is the 27th day of the month you've already heard so many amazing things so this is more just about my story and then um and then what else oh you guys i have notes because if i don't have notes i would just talk super super fast and um get lost like in my own thoughts and i'd probably lose you all okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna look at these notes okay so anyway it's gonna be about my story and then the need to believe in myself or to believe in yourself right because it's for you guys and not giving up so prior to joining unique if you would have asked any family member of mine, right? Or any friend, like if they thought, or myself, if they thought I would be involved in direct sales, hello ladies. And uh, if they thought I'd be involved in any direct sales, it's a big hell no, no way. And one in like based around cosmetics and makeup, absolutely not. Hi Jules, absolutely not. That's not me, that is not me, right? Well, at least it wasn't me. Um, it's just not, right? But let's go back in time. So two and a half years ago, I, my friend called me, my best friend. And she was like, hey, I'm selling this mascara. No, I'm selling something. And I was like, shut up. No, you're not. You're not selling anything, right? She was like, never a salesperson. I did the work on our lemonade stand when I was little. Okay, not her. But she got all like the customers because she's like the sweet, nice one. Anyway, so she tells me she's selling something. And I'm like, I'm getting on a flight. And uh so I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll buy three of them. I didn't even know what it was, right? And she's like, it's mascara. You don't even know how much it is. I'm like, I don't care. My mom, my sister. It literally, as I tell people, it could have been toilet paper for $40 a roll. And I would have bought three, right? Maybe I would have bought more. Who knows? Because then maybe more people would have needed it. I don't know. But um, I would have bought it because that's just me. Like, I'm that supportive friend. You don't have to ask anything, right? I was like, hey, I'm going to write a blog post for you. I'm going to do this for you, okay? That's just me. And I think, kind of side note, one of the hardest things in this business is accepting the fact that not everyone's going to support you and understanding why like your best friends and the ones you've done everything for, why they don't support you, right? That's like one of the hardest things. Like it would break my heart. Like I'm like, oh my God, I do everything for this person and they like can't support me at all. What? But what you have to realize is when you stop expecting the people be stop expecting people to be how you are, things get easier. And what I've also learned is like those friends, right? Some are still great friends. Who knows why they don't support? I don't know. Beats me. But um, others aren't. But you meet all these new people. So that's a little side note. So get back to it. So I buy this mascara, right? It's on back order. Then it gets shipped to the wrong address. And then um, I finally get it. And then I forget about it for like a month. And then I try it. And I'm sitting in a, um, I'm sitting in a hotel room. And then all of a sudden I like put it on. And I'm like, oh my God, like, hello. But then I'm like, so crazy, right? Like, I'm like, oh my God, more coats, more coats, more coats. Next thing you know, I look full on cray cray, right? But I'm like, if I could make my lashes do this, like, hello, you know what I mean? So then I call my friend, I'm like, this stuff's amazing. Like, what else is great? So then she's like, oh, okay, fast forward like a month later. Hey, do you want to host a party for me? I'm like, a party? How do I post, host a party? I'm living in Arizona. I have no friends. I work another job like 60 hours a week. I like, I have to host a party. What am I supposed to do? Like, I don't even know anyone here. And she's like, no, it's on Facebook. I'm like, Ugh. Facebook? You know what I mean? Facebook, like I deactivated that four and a half years ago. Facebook, really? You want me? Okay, so I'm going to host a party on Facebook. What? Okay, hold on. Let me think. Yeah, when I deactivated it, oh, I had a lot of friends. I had five thousand creepy guys as friends okay I maybe knew like 10 of them okay maybe I had like 20 girlfriends just creepy people so I'm like okay this hosting a party thing I couldn't get it like okay online so then I started thinking about it and I'm like huh 
if I just join, like, will it help you? Will this help you? She was like, yeah, I think so. Jules, Arizona was no bueno at all. Anyway, so I was like, if I join, will it help you? And she's like, yeah, I think eventually, okay? Well, fast forward, like, six, so I join, right? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna reactivate my Facebook. Yay, weirdos. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I have to post, I do this, right? Oh, and I work 60, other, 60 hours a week and I live in a state where I know no one. Okay, this is gonna be real great. So then, hi, Elaine. Congratulations, Elaine, on turning pink. Anyway, so then um, I join, and then you fast forward six months later, and which is exactly two years today. Two years today, I was in Seattle for Thanksgiving, and I reached black status, right? And I was like, oh, my God, did this just happen? Like, not just me, my team. Like, I, I didn't even know. Like, the non-makeup-wearing girl, jerseys, backward hats, no makeup on. What? You know what I mean? Like, Hi, Malix. Hello. You know, so um, that was like, I didn't even, I didn't even really know what was going on, right? I mean, I did, but it's kind of me. It's all or nothing. I'm all in and I'm all out. But if I was going to do it, I was just going to do it. So getting back to my story. So I literally, okay, I joined. I had 5,000 weirdo guy friends um, that weren't even friends. I was living in a state. I didn't really like my life at the time, right? I just wanted a change. And, um, and change to happen. But for me, for most people, let me tell you this, this business, if you work this business, you can financially, you can make more money than you've ever wanted, right? If you want to be a stay at home mom, if you want to quit that job, whatever you want, it can happen, but it can also not happen. If you join and you don't do any work, well, there you go. You're not going to make any money, right? For me, I didn't join because financially I needed it. I didn't. I didn't. All I knew is I joined because I love him too, Mary. I joined because I wanted to help my friend, right? But then what I found out was that, or what I realized that it, uh, okay, so then back it up, Sarah, back it up, okay? So then I seriously want to puke right now, you guys. Okay, so then, but what I realized I needed was far more important than money, at least to me, right? So it was, it was the ability to love myself. So... Really? Okay, so for as long as I can remember, what I saw, like, okay, hold on. Okay, so what I saw when I looked in the mirror, hi, Bozy. Okay, so what I saw when I looked in the mirror and what other people saw were two very different things and how I felt on the inside and how, and how others thought I felt about myself, right, were like far two very different things. Like they were just, they weren't, they just weren't at all in the same wavelength at all. And when it came down to it, like I didn't really, I didn't really know how to love myself and I didn't really believe that I like deserved any of it. So even like I go to college, right? And I have three college degrees and I almost have a 4.0 where it's like I kick butt in sports or school, right? And I'm like, but I never really thought I believed any of it. So I remember making black status and I like still didn't think I deserved, I deserved it. I just, I didn't. It's like I've doubted myself all along the way. So that was so stupid. I'm so stupid sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so... The good thing is, though, so since joining New Unique, like, two and a half years ago, like, that's slowly changed. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Throw that piece of paper of my notes on the floor. So, and I, and I think, like, I truly believe that those factors have been the driving force in me never giving up. So, let's get back to my story with Unique, right? I made black status six months in, like, woohoo, yeah, okay. Even though in my head, I'm like, I don't deserve this, but hey, my team deserves it. My team deserves it. Stupid is not a word. Um, but, you know, people will say like, oh, well, you don't understand. It took you six months to make it. Or, um, you know, or you don't understand the struggles. Ugh, guess what? I do. Because as quickly as I made it to the top of this company, right? 
people were quitting. Like, bye, 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 adios, adios. They were like dropping like flies because you know what? The second it came time to putting in work, they're like, ooh, no thank you. Even though, let me tell you this, it's the easiest, I love you. It's the easiest and most fun work I've ever had. Like, this is not like bad work. This is fun work. And I just wish I found this like earlier in my life. I do. Like, I was like, oh my God, there's like college students who find this job, right? And I'm like, if only I had found this in college, like I would have never had that horrible telecommunications job where I hated my boss and I hated like being out in the cold in the winter months and going through snow and going into businesses. Blah. But anyway, so I understand. I understand those struggles. And you know what? And sometimes I'm like, I wish I didn't. Hello. But at the end of the day, I think those struggles will make it, you know, they make me that much stronger. I think that it makes, it will make my team that much stronger. And I think it makes me and those that survive and like those that push through and that those that want it, then they're going to continue on. And those that don't, well, okay, I can't want it for you. I can't want it for you. And that's something if you're, if you're in unique, you know, you have to remember you cannot want it more for your team than that teammate wants it. Because what I did is I went into, yes, Julie, New Hampshire is beautiful, but the cold is horrible. Um, I went into maintenance mode and I started doing all the work for them. Like, oh, I have to help their team. I have to help their team. I have to help them. Well, the second I stopped and I stopped building my own team because I cared more about them than myself. And that's how this kind of plays in. Like, I didn't feel deserving. I didn't love myself enough. And so I didn't want to focus on myself. I wanted to focus on other people and it was probably my way out. And now I've realized I can't do that, but, um, you can't want it for someone else more than they want it. Like, because it's not going to happen. It's like, I always say like losing weight, right? Like you want to lose weight, but and your trainer can't want it more for you. They can't make you lose the weight. What you do in your own time is up to you. And so you just have to remember that you have to, you have to worry about your business, your teams too, but yours first and foremost, and don't ever give up on your own business to help everyone else out first. You know what I mean? Like you deserve this and that's what you have to realize. Um, let me just see on my notes because I'm basically having a heart attack on the inside. Um, <sighs> okay, so you have to remind yourself daily that excuses will get you nowhere, right? They're not going to get you, oh, okay, like, oh, I just had a lot going on. Blah, 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 blah. So you have to find your, your why on the inside. And that has to, like, run deep, whatever it is. It can be, like, you want to be a stay-at-home mom. It can be, like, you hate your job and you just want to so worth two naps. That's funny. Um, it could be you hate your job and you want to be able to quit and have that full-time income, or maybe you want a part-time income, right? Or maybe you just want to like do have extra spending money for your family or not have to worry about bills. Or maybe it's not even about the money. Maybe it's about finding like you on the inside and learning, learning how to love yourself, learning who you are again. Um, for others, maybe it's that sisterhood, right? But you have to have your why. So my why, certainly not going to get into it. If you want to see it, go on my YouTube. But um, you have to have that. And that's what I think keeps me going. So through all the challenges, it doesn't matter that. And honestly, the love of this company and the love that I have for the owners is like, oh my God. I seriously never thought that I could care this much about a company or about the owners. Like I always tell people, there's no jumping ship. The grass isn't greener. You're not getting me to go anywhere for money. I don't care what it is. I don't care because this is where I know I belong. This is where I know deep down, even though I may not know how to apply makeup really, okay? And I don't look put together most days and this is what I am. I guess I'm more like a tomboy. I don't even know, but this is where I belong and I know that. And my team, like, I'm never deserting them. I love them. And so that's why, like, I just keep, I keep going. It doesn't matter. I keep going, you know? So, okay. Hold on. Let me just look at my notes again. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so as I said, so this can financially change someone's life. It can change someone's life in so many ways. But for me, it's, you know, it's helped me learn to love and believe in myself. And if you aren't where you want to be, reevaluate what's going on. So if it's this business, why isn't it working, right? Why, what's not working? If it's, I would say it's just easy for me because I'm like, I love health and fitness. If it's, if it's losing weight, well, why isn't it working? You know, are you consuming too many calories? Do you 
have a thyroid problem? Are you not working out? Are you training wrong? What is it? So reevaluate and make a plan, like make a plan where you can, where it's attainable and where it's reachable and it has to be like measurable and it has to be specific. So make that yearly plan and a quarterly plan and hi, Victoria, um, make that yearly plan and quarterly plan and monthly and weekly and have your daily goals. Cause if you don't have a plan, you're not going to succeed. You're not, maybe, maybe you'll get somewhere, but you'll never like get to that point or above that point and keep going. So it doesn't matter what it is. You have to have a plan. So with this business, if you want your business to grow, if you want to earn promotions, right? Well, what's not working? Reevaluate it. Get back to the basics. Get back to the basics. That's what, you know, that's what it's all about. Another thing is when it comes to this business, I know this is kind of like about this business and not. So with this business, all too many people, I think, take time off, right? They're like, oh, I had the sniffles. Like, oh, I didn't feel good. My stomach hurt. Or, oh, I had anxiety. Hello? Hello? Okay. But it's like, would you, um, I just needed a week off. Emotionally, I needed a week off. Would you just, if you had a nine to five job, would you just not go into work? Right? Would you just take a week off? Because you might have, yay, Pats, because you needed time off. Would you do that? Um, no, because you would be fired. So they say, treat this job or this business, right? Treat this business like it's your job until you're making money like it's a business. So just drop the excuses, whatever it is. Or it's like, oh, I don't feel good. I can't go to the gym today. You feel fine. It's just an excuse, right? And that's not going to get you anywhere. Um, so lastly, I guess, just believe in yourself and you have to stay positive. Get rid of the negativity. Things can change. I wasn't, trust me, there was a point where I was so negative. I was so negative. I didn't even like to be around myself. Like really, I didn't like to be around myself. So you just have to drop that negativity and change it and you can change it. And guess what? In this business, it's, we're on social media, right? Um, is that the video room? No, it's not done. This is just my living room <clears throat> by the Christmas tree, but I turned off the lights. Okay. Side note. Anyway. So, um, in this business, drop the negativity and drop like the just blah stuff. No one wants to hear if you're miserable every day, if you're sick, if you're hurt, like every day, if my post was like, oh my God, you know, my foot hurts or whatever, people don't want to hear it. So just, and honestly, it won't make your life better, whatever it is. So focus on the positive. And if a million things are wrong in your life, find on one, find one positive thing and focus on it. Cause I'm sure it will make your day turn around. So that's basically my November to remember. It's not really a training, but when it comes to unique, it's kind of my story. And, uh, and it comes to this business, it's get back to the basics, sponsor, book parties, open your mouth. I know I have a fear of opening my mouth to strangers, but I can, uh, once you're my friend, I don't like ever shut up and it's so annoying. Um, and I'm sorry for my friends that are on here, but get back to the basics. Cause that's what it's all about. And I promise you that every struggle and every hurdle in any aspect of your life will make it that much better. So that's that. And thank you for everyone. Um, positive rays, positive days for joining in. And, um, I'm surprised I don't have like hives all over my face right now or something. But I probably will when I get off. So that's that. And um, hi, Maria. Hello. Who else? Oh, and Marla, Aaron. I can't even see Tina. Okay, sorry. I can't even see so many things. But um, oh, Morgan. So yeah, that's my story. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go like hide in a hole or something. And um, just kidding. I'm not. I'm gonna go kiss the bellsy. Okay, so um, that's it. All right, bye. Oh yeah, everyone always says I'm gonna stay on to like answer questions or I'm gonna wait to let people join. No, there's no waiting and there's no staying on. So that's it. Okay, bye.